This is a hadith Qudsi, paraphrased by Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, if the first and last of you, everyone from Adam alayhi salam, until the last man on earth, وَإِنْسَكُمْ وَجِنَّكُمْ Mankind and the jinn kind were to all stand in one plane and all of them in one time were to ask Allah. Imagine one person just asks, Allahumma inni as'aluka min al-khayri kulleh. Oh Allah, I ask you from all kinds of goodness. And imagine you have the billions of people asking the same question. This will, if Allah was to give you everything you asked for, multiply it by billions and billions of the creation, mankind and jinn kind, it will only decrease from Allah's kingdom, that which if you were to put a pin in the ocean and take it out, how much water would stick to it? Yeah, it does not decrease from Allah's kingdom, nothing. How come we haven't seen this? Because we don't know who Allah is. We don't turn to Him in dua. That when you need something, you turn to Al-Kareem subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we commit a sin, we need to run to Sayyidul Istighfar. The solution is in Sayyidul Istighfar. This is the master of all adhkar when it comes to seeking Allah's forgiveness. And then you know what the words in it are? You say, Allahumma anta rabbi. Oh my Allah, you are my Lord. You are saying this after a sin. Even if I sinned against you, you're still my Lord. Allahumma anta rabbi, la ilaha illa ant. There is no Lord worthy of worship, but you are up. Khalaqtani wa ana abduk. You created me and I'm your slave. Yes, even when I committed the sin, I'm still your slave. Wa ana abduk wa ana ala ahdika wa wa'adika wa stata'at. And I am trying, trying to the best of my ability to do that which I promised. When you see them and you understand their meaning and you're seeing them after a sin, Wallahi, you would feel how they are turning off the sin. You will feel it's like cold water being poured on a hot heart. You're saying, Ya Allah, I seek refuge in you. Protect me from the evil I did. See, Sayyid al-Istighfar, you're acknowledging it's evil. You're saying, Ya Allah, I know what I did is evil. And Allah, protect me from the evil of myself, the own evil that I did. I acknowledge your blessings upon me. I acknowledge your favor and your mercy upon me. And Ya Allah, I acknowledge my sin. Forgive me, Ya Rabb. And I'm asking it from you because no one forgives sins except you. Who do I turn to? The believer knows there is no escape from Allah but to Allah Azza wa Jal. The believer knows that. Aisha radiyallahu anha, she says, Salu Allah kulla shay. Ask Allah everything. Hatta shisa. Even if it was a shoelace. In a narration as well, it said, Hatta al milha fi ta'am. Ask Allah for salt in the food. Why? She says at the end of the hadith, because if Allah azza wa jal doesn't make it possible, no one can make it possible. If Allah doesn't make it possible, if the entire world was to come together to make it possible for you, it will not happen. Therefore, ask Allah everything. Subhanallah. And then when something happens, who do you turn to first? The one who doesn't know Allah will not turn to Allah. At dua, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that the weak people, the people that have no good in them, are those that are weak when it comes to dua. Don't, don't uh, make something small and something little of a dua. A dua is the reason for why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victory to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in their first battle, battle of Badr.